Welcome back. The cleanup continues in Pueblo at the Colorado Smelter Superfund site. And hundreds of properties were identified, as we've reported, having contaminated soil. News 5's Andy Cohen in our Pueblo studio. Progress being made, Andy, but you found some homeowners frustrated with the way the work is happening. The homeowners tell us that often that work gets delayed or that equipment has damaged their homes or garages, and they just want to get this cleanup finished and get on with life. Folks on Eilers Avenue aren't shy about saying what they think of the Superfund cleanup. <laughs> it's been it's been a mess. It's a joke. It's been awful to deal with. Nightmare on Eilers Street. The neighborhood was built more than a century ago. Soil samples taken back in 2014 found elevated levels of lead, believed to be from an old smelter that was operating at the time. For many, cleanup means digging up and replacing anywhere from 12 to 24 inches of dirt. Grass, fences, and other landscaping damaged in the process gets replaced, but these neighbors say it's the way crews are doing the work that's so frustrating. When they come out and did the soil mitigation where they sunk the holes to check for contamination, they hit my gas line. The first dig they did, the line went down, and they haven't come back to fix it. It's been, I think, two months. As they actually sat there on my porch with me and said, oh, I'm sorry, you're one of the, you're one that, uh, you're one of the people we forgot. The EPA's project manager says that they've finished the work at hundreds of properties without issue, but... We're just always going to have, you know, folks that, that, you know, things maybe don't go as well, and I apologize for that. We really just are, are trying to turn those things around and make it a good news story for everyone. She encourages people to call or visit their office to make sure those issues get addressed quickly. The original timeline for this cleanup was expected to take 15 years, but the EPA's regional administrator was able to double the funding. They now have a goal of finishing by 2023. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Andy Cohen, News 5. 